In this video series, we will be talking about search engine optimization and up-to-date SEO strategies. In this particular lesson, we will be talking about an overview of SEO plus a brief history. I want to start off by showing you this graph here, this graphic here, which demonstrates what SEO does for your business. We're going to do a basic search called Improve Golf Swing. So this would be somebody going to Google, typing in Improve Golf Swing. Many of you, in fact, most of you are familiar with what a Google search result looks like. So as you see here at the top, we've got our paid results, which is where somebody goes into Google AdWords and they actually pay to be ranked for these keyword phrases. So they're paying per click. So every time somebody clicks on these links, they are charged a click. Now what we want to be found in is the organic results, which are found here more in the middle. So the organic results, you get a very high quality visitor, because obviously they're searching for that, much like if you were running paid ads. But you actually are displayed on a much larger area of the Google search results, and you aren't actually paying per click. So every time somebody clicks on that or every time your ad is displayed, you are not charged for that. That is the beauty of SEO. It can send you long-term free traffic and these are super high quality visits to your website, meaning people that are very interested in what you have to offer. Now you will find these also on Google or Bing and Yahoo as well, plus many other search engines also. Um, and that's what we're focused on is getting ranked within Google, within Bing, within Yahoo. Those are the three main search engines. So SEO, it stands for search engine optimization. So we're going to refer to it as SEO throughout most of this course because it's just easier to say and that's what most people know it as as well. Basically, search engine optimization or SEO, it is simply strategies that website owners use to increase rankings and traffic from the search engines. Search engines are the first place that people go to find things on the internet. It's something that everybody pulls up Google, they go to Bing, they go to Yahoo. I mean, a phrase like just Google it, that's even become like a verb to people because they're so used to going to a search engine to find what they want. It doesn't matter if they're looking for something locally in their local area, if they're looking to purchase something, if they're looking for information on an event or a political candidate, people go to search engines for all kinds of things. The other thing to keep in mind and we're not going to really be covering these in this, but search engines are also found on YouTube. That's actually a search engine in itself. If you go on a site like Ezine Articles, that's an article directory site, but it also is kind of like a search engine because you can search for the content you want on there. Amazon is also another search engine. It's a great big shopping search engine as well. But we're going to be basically focused in on Google, Bing, and Yahoo, and strategies you can put in place to actually help yourself rank within those major uh, search engines. But just wanted to point that out because search engines are a very big part of the internet. People are always searching for things. They're not going to go anywhere. So top search engines today, Google, Yahoo, and Bing. According to a Comscore report, Google makes up 66.7% of searches. That means two-thirds of all searches, just about, are ran through the Google search engine. So that's a very big thing. Bing comes in second at 18.1%, and then Yahoo comes in at 11.1%. And then the Ask search engine and AOL search engine bring in 4% uh, combined as well. So that kind of rounds up the entire total there. And gives you a rough idea and then there's also some smaller uh, search engines but obviously Google should be your focus and that's really where we're gonna focus because primarily if you can do the proper SEO techniques to get yourself ranked in Google you're gonna find that you're gonna get results within Yahoo within Bing within even the smaller search engines like ask and AOL and Honestly, it's most important to get ranked within Google because that's where most of the people go, that's where most of the eyeballs are, and that's where you want to get the traffic for. So we're going to talk about playing nice and playing with Google standards, meaning we're going to be what doing whatever it takes to help ourselves rank, but we're going to do it ethically and by following Google standards. When search engines started, rankings were super easy to obtain. You could rank a site based on how many keywords you stuffed onto the page, but we all know that has changed. Uh, the old search engine robots, they didn't really have algorithms in place. They may have had smaller algorithms, uh, you know, in place based on keywords and those types of things, but they really were just, you know, they weren't basing things on like trustworthiness, uh, link credibility, content quality. None of that really mattered back in the old original days of search engine optimization. 
Spamming became super easy for search engines, and that's why they had to make a change. Uh, we're talking back, you know, when Google first started, when Yahoo and Bing were there. It used to be extremely easy. You could just put up a website with just about any keywords, and they didn't even have to be related to the content on that page, and it would still rank some of the time. And so, you know, like things that became popular were like link exchanges and mass link building, because people discovered that, hey, building backlinks to your website is a huge thing. It's something people want. And so that's when like uh, people doing link exchanges where I would link let's say for example I had a website related to golf and I went to another site related to to golf and we just exchanged backlinks for each other and that's where uh, link exchanges became popular and a lot of people were doing that and search engines pretty much put a kibosh on that and said no we can't do that anymore and they devalued those links so it didn't benefit you anymore mass link building where people were actually going out and paying money to get listed on you know getting 10,000 backlinks on just spammy and junk websites and that backfired people were stuffing keywords and things and that backfired search engines d engines did not want to be gamed meaning they did not want people to be able to easily manipulate the, res the results they found that it actually hurt them in the long run if spammy results were showing up so they really crack down on it and this is what we're going to be talking about is how to work nicely with the search engine so you can get ranked so due to their size google is a search engine we really must follow you want google to think that you are a quality or good website in this day and age of internet marketing and getting ranked within the search engines if you remain in Google's good graces, then you have it made. You really do, because you're going to get the traffic you want, you're going to get the eyeballs, and also your customers and visitors on your website are going to be very happy because that means you've done a really good job. You have quality content. SEO today is centered around cooper literally cooperating with Google strategically. So next, we're going to learn all about what SEO strategies are working today. We're going to cover that in the very next video.